Now, welcome to the stand friend. We're still celebrating love and self-love. Broken but beautiful. You have to maintain the beauty at all times. Today, we are talking about the three E's. Elegance, etiquette, and empowerment. Mm -hmm. And I have the right person in the studio to talk about it. My guest, she's been in, in this industry. She's been preaching and practicing and helping others with these three E's. I'm here to learn, and you must also learn, not for anybody, but for yourself, for yourself, for your children, for those who look up to you. My guest today is the one and only Ivana. We call her Awula. That's how I call her, and she calls me too. Her brand is Awula, Jamestown Awula, typical gun girl, and she is the finest when it comes to etiquette, elegance, and empowerment. So get ready to turn, get your pens and papers ready, open your ears, shine your eyes, and listen well. Let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth. This is new style. My dress is by, it's a skirt and top, you know, it looks like a dress, a skirt and top, by Liran Collections. Thank you so much. My hair by the one and only Chocolat, style by Inshilo. And makeup products always by Note Cosmetics. And my makeup today is by Charios Beauty Studio. We'll be back. Welcome back to the stand for yes, I have the Jamestown Awula in the house, you know. So I'm I'm trying to I'm copying the way she's seated and everything. I'm just copying, you know. Today we're learning about elegance, etiquette, and empowerment. The three E's as she calls it. And you're going to have a beautiful conversation. All that comes in together to make you love yourself and appreciate yourself more, to be able to quote unquote sell yourself to the world, irrespective of what you do, presentation matters and not just how you package yourself but how you truly feel about yourself and she's here to talk about it she deserves to be celebrated as a human being ivana but we'll talk about the three e's as well let me say thank you to all those who have come in to support us for our love month program that's um zesuza catering services thank you so much to them thank you to e-cakes everything cakes they've got it very creative. You'd be amazed what they can do for you. Thank you to a goodzy beat. A goodzy. Yes, that's treasure. Thank you so much to them. Thank you to Not Cosmetics at GH Perfumery Ghana. GH Perfumery Mall at the American House is Elegant. Everything perfumes. You go there and they will sort you out beautifully. And of course, let's jumbo aromatics. All the diffusers, wherever it is in the house, in the office, outdoor, in your car. He's got them all. And the woman I'm about to talk to represents elegance, etiquette, <laughs> empowerment, beauty, everything. <laughs> Welcome to the standpoint, Ivana. Thank you. You've been on the set before. Yes, I have. But been. this is the first time you're doing one-on-one. On yes, one. yes, one yes. On the one. last time we talked, we were here talking about the girls and yes. mentorship. The mentorship. That was way back. The way yeah. back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that something, another thing you do so beautiful, yes. mentorship. Mm -hmm. But how has it been? How long have you been in the beauty industry? What uh, Actually, <laughs> how do you call what you do? I call myself an artist. Artist, okay. Because I wear many hats. Okay. And um, the name, the brand Ivana, started in 1994, together with my mom. Mm. Working together with my mom was an amazing, it has been an amazing journey. Mm. So your mom is still around? No, she passed away. Oh, may she rest in mm -hmm. peace. And the whole story began in my mother's, I'll say my mother's beauty parlor. Okay. As, as a girl at 14, working together with her. I loved working with her. So it all began there, seeing all these amazing women. Because if you know Asylum down Mango Street Avenue and nowhere, you have the Lebanese, the Indians, you have the... It's a whole... It's a, whole, um, I call it, it's, it's a different vibe. Okay. And then being there and seeing these women come in, you have Joyce Ayi, Justice Ayi, Mrs. Cezanne. You have all these, the Alotes, the Quays. It, it was just a mixture. It, it was a beautiful 
kind of setting. You see these women come in and how they get to put themselves together. It was so authentic. It wasn't full. Mm. It was so beautiful. It was very natural. So I, I, I loved elegance. And knowing my mother, my mother, she's very, very elegant, very put together. So I think I got it from there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it all began from there, seeing these women. It inspired me. Mm. So fashion, being in the fashion industry, I just finished school and then went into the, I, I was in the art school. Okay. So when I finished that, I went into fashion. And just, it just took off. And I think my first, in 1994, I, the house Ivana began. Yeah, began. Yeah. And then it started with Miss Ghana. Miss Malaika, Miss. We started with uh, fashion. Fa sorry, we started with um, being on the on pageants. Yes, right. Yes. So I think we've done so all the styling the the, uh, the girls and grooming them, grooming and them behind the scenes. And so that's where your fair for two was born. Your fair for is, is our thing, which is my grooming baby okay. and coaching baby. Because I used to pick up girls on the street, trying so hard to transform them into models, and then put them into Miss Ghana. So I became a scout. So working for, in South Africa for... Um, yeah. Your um, fair is a beautiful it's woman. It's a beautiful woman. And every yeah. woman is beautiful. beautiful. It's just that you need to bring out certain things in you for right. it to just... Burn. You need to burn that light within and right. let it shine. But right. every woman, it's beautiful. beautiful. Every color is also beautiful. Mm. And so letting the girls know that you're not here on the pageant, you're not here on the stage to just come and showcase your, but no, 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 you're not there. You're there to celebrate. Being on the stage is just to celebrate beauty and it comes in different colors. And beauty comes from within. It's not mm. just the outward beauty. So yeah. for me, it's been that, it's, I bang more on that. Uh, my mm. main campaign is just letting yeah. the girl uh, allow herself yeah. to yeah. feel like I am a woman, yeah. no matter how, how my curves are, my, whether I'm tall, I'm short, this is me. Mm. So that's why mm. I do all the pageants. Right. And it's always right. been free. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and how do you feel seeing some of these girls who you groomed behind the scenes? Because those times people see beauty pageants as vain. Yes. Just coming to, and people used to get upset. But some of these girls have grown to become industrious Thank women you. of substance in our yes. society. And what I've been doing behind the scenes, your fearful was birthed out of. It's, it's from the Bible, mm. Esther 2.12. So that's, that's the story behind the house, Ivana. Anna. So that's, okay. that's, yeah, that's what we do. It was birthed behind that story. So the Esther woman, two, Esther 2.12. 12. And so were the days of beautification. It's not just beautifying yourself, but it's mind, body, and spirit. You know so, the, the theme behind the set? And the set this month mm -hmm. is when we birthing the set. It's broken but beautiful. So your fair for just it's holding. just yeah. And you're scouting for girls on the street and mm -hmm. transforming them. Just pick them up of mm. the I just pick them up. And then we'll go get Eli, we'll come together, me, KKD, we'll just put these girls together. Sometimes I, their mothers don't will so say no. I said there's something about her. Some we put in school. Yeah. Working with the um, um, eminent face of Africa, Africa. Oluchi. Oluchi, yeah. we picked her up on the street. Whoa. Yeah, Ol Oluchi, yes. You were part of the grooming no, team No, no, yes. Behind the scenes, we were all working. Behind the scenes. I was representing Ghana. Wow. And don't forget, face of Africa was done here. Here. Mm -hmm. So working together with Herbert Mensah and then Nana, it, it was just an amazing journey. So yeah. I've gone from one pageant to another, one pageant to another, and then that's one part of the, the brand Ivana. Then we have Boudoir Ivana, who works for the, 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 the working, boot. yes, the, we've got the creme de la creme, yeah. we've got the contemporary, we've got all these women in there. And then we have the diva's closet that styles the artiste. Okay. So that's when you're working for a fear, you have Zanel Zub, Genevieve, yeah. um, um, Genevieve Nyaji, yeah. you have all of them fly, Carl Zoom. So I've started, I start with them from the beginning. I realized that they, were, they come from the beginning. Every, we, our whole brand is more like um, styling the woman for every mission of her life. So you have them, some in the beginning, some in the middle part of their life, they're, tran yeah, they're, they're transforming themselves into others yeah. into another stage. stage. And yeah. then you have another woman who is already done, who is going to another stage of her life. Mm. She's also going to be like a first lady. Right. So working with most of the first ladies behind the scenes See. is like helping her stand. So it's not just for the girl on the, uh, on, on the, on the stage, mm -hmm. the pageant girl. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
everybody that needs falls it. into womanhood branding and rebranding branding and rebranding you know you have to involve and yeah. your fair force your fair force is an oasis it's a beautiful oasis of love beauty style you have such success you have grace in there it's it's a beautiful that's the complete woman it's a, a package right. of that one that sees herself as this is me mm. your fair force i'm not just a beautiful woman outside but i come with this, this. and this is who i am this is what i represent I am of God, knowing that my beauty is not of, it's not just this thing you see mm -hmm. now, I'm more than that. How you talk, how you walk, how you sit, how you interact, so how we you start network. At, yes, everything. So that's why we do the preparation, poise, and then presence. Mm. So with preparation, you come, that's like you're, you raw, preparing yeah. you, getting to your personality, putting that together. Your elegance is very key, mm. eloquence etiquette it's a whole glamour learning about what is you have to learn about all these things and then your style your style personality your style has a personality mm -hmm. and you you have to know that even your divine color the mm -hmm. colors you you just wear and you just right. bloom yeah you just step out there and then ooh, mm -hmm. everybody knows they they just you just attract yeah. there are certain colors because they're your soul they, they're like just you and the shades of green <laughs> <laughs> it's just who works and yeah. then you do the whites and then mm. some people can do old white. Others can do that sh bright white. It comes to red, mm, the different shades of red. Every woman has a color that works for them. And it's when you let the girls, ladies understand that we put all together as your preparation part. And prayer is key when it comes to that. I know I've been taking off some of the pageants because I, mine is more of a holistic. Yeah. So they don't want to know. Even the Muslims that I put, I, I, we talk. And you tell them to pray. Please, we all it's, do it. Prayer is important. It is very important. We, it's, it's the key thing. Because you're there to either fight, I'm beautiful than you. You're, no, no, don't do that. We're here to understand what, like, we're here to help know yeah. who we are as women. Yeah. And then step out there and showcase our intellig intelligence, mm. our beauty. It's mm. not just about the clothes. You know, as you're talking, just, I mean, we'll take a break shortly, but... You know, we've known each other for years. Goodness, we go way back. Since Goodness. 90 something, something. We go way you know, back. Way back. Way and, back. But sometimes we've been we Libya. lose it. We, we've been, that's that a Libya story. <laughs> Working oh with Gaddafi. Oh my God, that's another story, eh, you? Goodness. But, you know, sometimes we lose touch. <laughs> we haven't seen it. But then as soon as we meet, yes. it's like then we're everything. Good to go. we're how, good what, to go. what, what, how do you call that? You know, because most Even of the time. It's more like you, love. Yeah, For because so you know sometimes deep. we women don't unnecessarily compete. No, not me and you. You know, so like I hadn't seen you for years, and mm -hmm. then I saw you quite recently. Like, where <laughs> like, you told me you did this, you do that. I've seen you, you <laughs> do that. And why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you know? And then we just so go start back looking out for yes. each other. Yes, we do that. We need to celebrate one another. We need to love one another. We need to respect, even if you do it wrong. Yeah. You know, I'll say, but you know, I have to respect you. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I have to just say, oh, chick, you did it, but next time, don't. Mm -hmm. well, I yeah. mean, you know how we do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so the preparation part that I was talking about, when yeah. girls get to prepare themselves, then they go to poise, learning how to sit, mm. stand up the posture, mm -hmm. how to, yes. Mm -hmm. For me, visual poise is very important, <laughs> how to hold the, don't go and hold the skirt in public like that. The Ghanaian yeah. girl goes and then, you're wearing a very beautiful skirt, then she grabs the skirt like that. Where are we going, my dear? Oh, it's such a lovely skirt. The luxury of the lace alone is so beautiful. beautiful. All you have to do is just with a little bit of finesse. That's just, okay. you know? Playing with it. Playing with it, it's cool. And then you sit properly. So we teach them that. And then from there, we go to presence. That's in there, it's branding you. How do you present yourself in an unforgettable way? That when you go somewhere, people, oh, you remember that? Oh, yeah, I do. Because it came with you, the package, the beginning, the mid how you did everything, the way you sit, the way you talk. Etiquette is very important. And it looks like most of our, we're living in a society now that a lot of our girls, I'm sorry, and even mothers have lost it. 
it's have a, lost it. Yeah. Let me take a break. When we come back, or continue. Let me say thank you to Juice Time, 100% fruit juices, from the farm to the to the factory to the bottle. You know, they whole they have the whole whole chain. So they have their own farms and the uh, manufacture, and then they bottle and they sell as well. So you can contact them for wholesale. Thank you to Go Go to Yogurt by Penta Food. Also made in Ghana, Puma drinks and a wet purified mineral water by Casa Preco Company Limited. Kodam's gift and stationery, everything gift and station, they've got it. House of Food, Auntie Vera, we are always grateful. Cake Technique, and of course, our website www.standpoint.com.gh. And of course, the plants. Behind me is my wall of plants. These artificial plants, and then we have the natural plants here. We are so grateful to you. That's standing floral and a decor. We'll be back. Welcome back to the standpoint. We've talked about preparation, poise posture and all the P and everything, <laughs> presentation, and we went a bit into etiquette and we have a lot more to learn because yes, appearance do matter and um, sustaining conversation and I mean so many things that she's a spirit, she'll be, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning, but let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth, this is new style and Liran collection, thank you so much for making this dress for me, makeup by Charios Beauty Studio and makeup product, Note Cosmetics all the time. Today my hair is by Chocola Hair all the way in UK. She is on Instagram, but styled by Inshilo GH. So we went a bit into etiquette before we took the break. You talked about, so can we move on to the elegance? Okay. And how that comes together to make you an empowered Ele woman. Elegance. It's, it's the way, or manner, you present things. Okay. Some people who are born mm. with innate elegance. Mm -hmm. I can tell my mother was born like that. Mm -hmm. But you can learn. Yeah. With elegance, you can learn. All those grace, elegance, all those things that learn, you can learn them. There's an art to it. Right. Because it's all about how you present the thing. Mm. And elegant women, we've got understated elegance when it comes to style, mm. casual elegance. Everybody has the way of like showcasing elegance, but it's a state of mind. Mm. For me, elegance is just a state of mind. Yeah. As a man think it, so is he. So how are you presenting this thing to you on, in your house? Mm. How are you presenting yourself? Elegance has to do with the way you sit, the way you stand. It's all about presentation. How are you presenting it? No, I'm see. even nervous. I don't even know how to sit and do things. <laughs> so you see an elegant group as our first lady. Yeah. Naturally, I'm her. She's, she's my, yeah. yeah, she's family. Yeah. So We've known her for long yeah, before thank you. So she became yeah, she's she's naturally, always been thank you. elegant. Yeah. She's one of those innate people. She's born. We call her Awula. Awula. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have Ivy Heward Mills. She's also yeah. family. We yeah. call her Awula. It's there's certain people born like and then others you learn. You just learn, but it's an attitude. How am I presenting this thing that I so myself it has to be deliberate? My home, yes, it has to be my home, the way I eat, the way I talk. That's why we say an elegant drape. Oh, this thing is elegantly draped, an elegant dress. Oh, she looks elegant. So it's the way in manner it is done. It's all about it's a way of being. So, this attitude of a well, I have to be me. I mean. Take me as I am, well, you know. We'll take, you as, we'll take you as you are, and you, who you are, you will take yourself through certain cor corridors, and other corridors too will stop you. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the driver will throw the thing on the road because etiquette. What happened to etiquette? Manners. Yeah. In our school, way back mm -hmm. in school. Yeah. Etiquette for boys and girls. girls. What happened to that book? What happened to us as a country? One generation gone. And it's not so, for it. when it's I see I see some of the girls. Mm. One lady called me recently. Your mother is my classmate. Well, I might look very petite, mm. but your mother is my classmate. You call me Ivana. I just stopped. <laughs> I just said, where? Me? <laughs> Classroom. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Because you don't do that. Yeah. 
Missy go mommy any mercy. You shouldn't have done that. Because we make us our mommy and titty. I'm not your classmate. Yeah. At least say who ma miss, ma'am, or auntie. Say that. What happened to us? Yes. The taxi driver will insult you on the road. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to etiquette, we have it's broad yeah. table etiquette, bathroom etiquette, corporate etiquette, mm -hmm. wedding etiquette, Get. style etiquette. Even with style, we have did not everything. You can't wear the hat worn at the market to a wedding. Right. The same way you can't wear a fascinator at a certain time. Yeah. Okay. Now Ghanaian now women just do that thing where I don't care, it is my wedding, I'll wear it. Really? Somebody created it, and it came with information. Go and find out before you can wear it. Just understand what you're wearing and then enjoy it. But if you don't understand it, I don't think you should just take it. It's in vogue. Oh, I want it. I'll wear it. I, you can't do that. So, it, it's, so you get to certain places mm -hmm. and people, they know. That, because yeah. you're wearing your wisdom. wisdom. I would say yeah. you're wearing your wisdom. Right. You are what you're wearing. Yeah. When I see you, I see your level of, in sorry, your, your knowledge. Right. Yes. That's who you are. How does that tie in all to empower me, to make you an empowered woman? How do you empower? I, for me, I always say my mother's mirror empowered me a lot because sitting in front of my mother's women, see how the women sit there and the way they talk. So I started doing very, you know, that we all do, we play yeah, yeah, that role. role. Yeah. So it helps you show you, oh, this is me. So my mother looked at me one morning and said to me, look at that girl in the mirror. This is you. You have to learn to love her, protect her, Present her. You've got to start. You, all the things that I you have to make sure that woman, you do everything well for that woman because she represents you. Anytime you step out there, that's you. So at, at empowerment, I, mean, I think it starts from the home. home. And we need to do, we can be empowered. The word of God empowers me a lot. For me, oof. That's, you know me, that's yeah, me. Yeah. And I, I don't care what anybody says. says. But I'm just a J chick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a Jesus chick. No, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so I get my empowerment a lot from there. Right. Yes. Ooh, give me Sons of Solomon. It tells me everything when I wake up. So if you are my boyfriend and you think you left me, I'm sorry. Jesus told me something in the morning. He said, Hallelujah. I'm so fine. Yeah. I am so beautiful. My feet, my neck. Mm -hmm. Look the way he describes it's me in there. And so I, I, I get all that uh, information from that side. I go to Ezekiel and he tells me how mm. I dress it's, you up. Yeah. Go to yeah. Proverbs, please. All this information about me and I'm waiting for somebody else to come and tell me who I am. Somebody's son to come and just mess me up like that. No. Because I walk with that. Amen. That kind of information yeah. already. And it's in my heart. So with that, as a man thinketh, so is it. So that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think where we are now with the ladies, we, elegance, etiquette, it's just an, a lost art. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. way back when our families, our mothers, where they'll take, they'll cook. Yeah. After church, they'll bring us home. Mm -hmm. We take pictures. Yeah. Even in church, all the children, they'll line us up, up, take pictures. You can't even say hey to somebody. Look at the way we behaved. What happened to Ghana? We've lost it. I mean, what I don't know. I think us? we've copied blindly. It's, it's we've, just, it's yeah. just we'll, we've to lost see a young man walk on the street and see his pants. <laughs> I live in this league, on, and usually I can just stop the car. Like, I can just, that's me. <laughs> 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 or even all my workers, the, the boys, they know me. Ma will do that thing. I said, the belt is for a reason. Do you know the belt holes? It's yeah. for, there's a reason for the belt holes. So just go, and, even if you don't, can I buy you a ribbon? Maybe you don't have a belt. Let me just because it's for a reason, and I don't need to see your underpants. I don't need to see your undergarments on the road. That's why it's called undergarments. Why are they? Why are you showing them off? Yeah. And then the ladies, why are you showing everything mm. off? The beauty of it is just the mis the mystery of it is just showing a little bit of skin. Yeah. But then with curves underneath, it let it just let them chase. But you don't need to go mm. and show skin. Raw skin. Sexy is not just showing skin. It's not about showing skin. Nah. So you see, it's all about the information. What they, the knowledge about, the wisdom for me, it's actually the wisdom about mm. everything. Mm. Because look, look at the way you dress. Look at the way you're seated and everything. It's elegant. It's, you know, beautiful, sexy. It's whatever you call it. But you're not showing 
everything. This uncle Tony Tony Edu will tell me that yes, you are <laughs> why you are why you are why you are uncle Tony just say why you are dear Luna. Eh, but yeah, you can cry now. He just jokes with that. So sometimes you have to. We make sure we can miss uncle T. Eh, how are now? Say how do you now say F or F and all this? Eh, let me see. <laughs> wow, well, so how do we bring all this back? It's education. We need to help our ladies. That's why I'd love to do the mentorship for free for the ladies. Mm. I do the soirees. So for me, bringing the ladies in and bringing other women together, mm. let them share their stories, how they, they became this... Mm. One thing, okay, let me go here. Right. Working with most of the women in power and in, in, in certain positions mm -hmm. and helping them I have one lady, mm -hmm. you know I love you, but <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in a very big position she in this country, and I love the way she, she was the first person. A lot of people don't think only, I only groom Miss Garners and then, yeah. But you don't. No. You, you go I, beyond that, mm -hmm. yeah. Way, way, way beyond that. You, there, there's a phone call I got one evening when they said the vice, blah, blah, blah. President, blah, blah, country is coming, and you just need to sort out. Her eyes are red and blah, blah, blah. The interview has to be blah, blah, blah. I was in the hotel. Vicing in the eyes, make sure her eyes pop, change her like swap her, and tell, just show her how to stand. Because she had just, they just won. She wasn't prepared. Yeah. She wasn't prepared, but she was in Ghana. She needs to go and yeah. talk. So then teach her how to sit, how to stand, do it, and then go. And then she had a tummy, so I said, Mom, there's a way you have to put your hand here, and then the camera will be shooting you from here mm -hmm. and here. So make sure you tag this part in. And once in a while, you put your hand mm -hmm. there just to cover the, this part of your body. Yeah. I have another woman too in this country who is in another position, mm -hmm. and she does her thing. So anytime she does it, then she'll just tell, did you see me today? I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just for the Miss Garland, so no. And Why? the artists, no, 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 no. And yeah. the actresses, no. Because if they can, my thing is, if they can invest in themselves, yeah. come behind the scenes, yeah. and pay, right. and get ready for even a role, right. why can't another woman, a woman who is in power, yeah. walking on the corridors of power, power, wear lace and go and sit in parliament wearing lace and be their top, and then you want the men there to respect you, I'm sorry. You miss, you, you miss the whole point. That's the corridor of power. There are certain colors for that place. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let me take another say. break. When we come back, we'll continue. I mean, it's funny, but this is something that we really need mm -hmm. to, you know, um, learn. Because sometimes you go to places, mm -hmm. irrespective of how intelligent you are or how high... A personality you are, you get that you realize you don't fit in because mm -hmm. either the way you were dressed or your hair or you just don't know how to, how you were feeling in the about yourself. Through the whole Bible, yeah. when they're going before the king, yeah. they prepare themselves. Before when you're going before the, the king, king. And me, for me, I always yourself. say that I call it Sheba is coming. Sheba is coming to look at you. Sheba is coming to look at your wisdom. Mm. Sheba is coming to visit. So when my work, anytime I'm preparing something for work or we're going to do a show, I tell the workers, Sheba is coming. Sheba means with everybody coming to see as a Sheba. Sheba. And Sheba likes to know, what is this? So how we present it is very important. So with that, when you're working with others, they say, she's too new. Oh, working with her, so... Mm -hmm. That's no, what, no, yeah. no, 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 no. We, we, don't, we don't want to learn. Sheba, oh, Sheba is coming. Yeah. I don't... I don't, you don't worry. My Sheba's coming. Me. <laughs> well, let me say thank you to Jandel E. Cakes Ghana, um, Zezuza Catering Services, GH Perfume Mall, Eguzi Beads, Let's Jumbo Aromatics, Not Cosmetics. Thank you so much for supporting our Love Month. Love Month. That's Jandel. You know when Jandel, well, ah, when Antiafi you know, mm -hmm. doing your decor and everything and mm -hmm. packaging, doing hampers for you. Mm -hmm. It's something in e-cakes does amazing cakes and present very creative. And I don't know if you know about the Souza, um, Soraya Mensa. That's my baby. Soraya is a baby. Soraya saw her picture in my office. 
I said, so how old were you? I said, well, best of her. I said, how old were you? When she saw, when she saw this, I said, when I remember this show, I think she was 11 or 14. Yes, it was a show for GTV. To be, yes. Yes. And I styled her. I was the designer for that show. <laughs> and I have the picture still sitting in my office. But she's done a fantastic show. She's done show. a fantastic When you see her set up, mm. when she's catering, mm. Mm -hmm. And even, I mean, she, during the Christmas, she did these, you know, box hampers for, of food, the presentation of everything. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I mean, I, I ordered a lot of the people I gave gifts to during Christmas. That's I what I ordered. I knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> okay, to come. And mm -hmm. then G8 Perfume Mall, um, Doreen and her team, they are mm -hmm. um, East Ligon. Beautiful. And you have the, and it's authentic. J <laughs> not fake ones so please go there a goosey mm. beads a goosey is pro i mean precious something precious so mm. quality beads um you get it from here and then let's jumbo aromatics if you look up there you can see your diffusers and you know mm. it's all flavors everywhere and note cosmetics as always i tell you about it very light on the face and you have all the shades that you want Always look out for your right sheet. No, don't use a fake one. Don't be a will faithful with beautiful black color. Then the makeup. We'll be back. Welcome back to the standpoint, and um, we are so grateful to Cake Technique, E Cakes Ghana, House of Food. Yep, cleaning services, Kodam's gift and stationery, juice time, 100% fruit juices, and of course, go go to you good. We are so grateful to all of them for consistently supporting us. And hey, March is Ghana month. And we will be talking about everything Ghana, our culture, our food, whatever. It's going to be an amazing time on the standpoint. And if you want your product to be featured or promoted on the program, all you need to do is to call 0543618182 for a whole month, four programs on Joy Prime. And then we'll also stream on Facebook and YouTube as well. And you also give us product to give to our panelists as well as gifts. And by so doing, we showcase your products. But if you want to come on the set to talk about your product, that's at a different cost. So you can call the same number, 0543-618182 or 020-886. 1919 and we can talk about that take advantage of that trust me and you won't regret it now i would love afl before we went for the break i touched on a bit of the makeup mm -hmm. um i see you this is ivana mm -hmm. i mean ivana mm -hmm. the name house of ivana mm -hmm. the whatever it is but look at your makeup very simple mm -hmm. very natural but makeup looking very is, elegant. Yeah, but makeup is to enhance our beauty and not... I to don't change need, our face. Yes. It's just to enhance and make it look beautiful. Right now, I see what we use in film on the streets of Accra. Sorry. Yeah, because you can't have highlighters. It's for the light. You just don't use that in the day. But now you have the women using all that, looking like, um, I don't know, caricature. Who wants to look like that? A woman should look beautiful. A woman wants to look and feel beautiful, and it comes from within. So why put so much on your face, and then you change? And then later, recently I was working on a project where the lady came in, and I'm like, do you want to look like yourself, or do you want us to <laughs> go the extra? Because she came with a look, with a picture. Okay. And I'm like, if we do this for you, you're, you're a new artist in this country. If I'm done with you, when you leave this place, are you going to continue with the same look outside? She said, no. I said, then what's the essence? Why are we doing this? Okay. All you need to do is what you have, work on it, make it look like you, so that every now and then, you just enhance it. You can play mm -hmm. around with lashes, but don't have all that makeup on and lighters. And what's up with the gold noses? Horse nose. No, but who wants to see that? They are supposed to go it's under the farm. supposed to give us pointed No, nose. but then after that, you need to dab it with a little bit of powder so it's not seen. Mm. Usually it's for the stage. So when the light, the silhouette, the light hits you, then it makes you shine, you glow. But now we're using it... On the streets, going yes. for parties. In the afternoon, then you see somebody with a gold nose. What's happening? 
And then we have all the, with, with that, and then you have a lot of things going on. And it looks like a Christmas, I call it the Christmas tree dressing. <laughs> Which one is the Christmas tree dressing? Oh my God, that's when the hair, there's something in the hair, there's something here, there's something there. Everything is hanging. Yeah. I mean, this is a tree itself. And there's I remember everything how hanging. many times you fought with me about wearing bold, <laughs> bold necklace. Meanwhile, I like bold I need necklaces. To know when, but like, I said, when you wear your bold necklaces, then make sure your hair is held up. Right. So that it showcases at least this part of because then the because our skin is yeah. is a, it's an accessory. It's very authentic. That that's how God created it. And it plays a very important role. When a little bit of skin, mm, so just around your decolletage, the hair up, you're good to go. Yeah. So you I can, can do, do whatever this hair and, and then, then yeah, wear so that's we're going to Christmas tree dressing. <laughs> so you are done. <laughs> then everything is hanging there. You yeah. know what I mean? Then yeah. we come here, there's something here, and then yeah. the shoes, then the colors, yeah. too many colors working. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot going on. Yes, it can be simple. I know I have a family friend who um, loves color. She loves to wear yellow shoes and white shoes, and mm -hmm. it's okay. But sometimes in the corporate setting, when she, yellow comes on, like, I'm like, you have to find, that's, that's this balance. Find a nice way of wearing your white shoes. A very nice way of wearing it. Tone it down a bit, but then she wears it. <laughs> like I'm saying. <laughs> she wears it. That's your wisdom. That's, 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 that's She's it. wearing her wisdom. <laughs> and I, I will way back, I mean, you, you, you have also worked with those of us in the media for years. Oh, yes. And um, now you see... As on air. What's going the on? In the, we, uh, what, what's we going wear. on in the industry now? Your industry. Because uh, we have we have we've got swag. Oh no, you have oh we we, we have that. Gan <laughs> oh we have that. But to see a woman wearing off shoulder an off shoulder dress with all her boobs showing, reading the news, or one hand reading the news. You can't wear a dress for a wedding or a party and read, and the, read news. the news. I don't know what's happening. What happened to all the cop, all the beautiful lace? Yeah. Yes, even if you want to wear lace, they, they're nice high colored ones you can wear. There's, there are so many ways of putting clothes together and yeah. make them look tasteful. There's a look for every. Yes. That's why we've got, we've got when it comes to style personality, your style personality, we've got the classic, we have the creative, we have the romantic, we have the natural. Even now, I have the natural chic. I call them the natural chic. That's Nanayo Furiata. Oh, yeah. Because she's natural, oh, yeah. but she still wants to wear her red, red lipstick. lipstick. yeah. Lydia Forson started as a natural girl. Okay. Now she's moved in. She's, she's mixed it. So she, yeah. I call her urban chic. Okay. Natural. She's a fusion. That's um, another personality. Person, yeah, she mm -hmm. works with so many things. I am a creative, so I like to... I get my creative go. Then I, I'm sometimes too romantic. Yeah. And then I see the girly in me, because on Sundays, I love to do that girly for church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you see the classic, the class, like um, the first lady, um, ex um, American, um, what's her name? Um, Michelle. Michelle is a classic. Michelle Obama. So in her dress, you see her skirts, the teal and skirts. Yes, her dresses, you know, it makes her look beautiful. Mm -hmm. so, so you, you just know have to know that, what works yes, for, for you, you and what to wear. The colors, the right colors, the right clothes, and the right makeup. And every now and then, if you want to play around with color, Play, do it. Mm. But it depends on where you're going. Okay. I get to, okay. I, yes, I get to showcase all the, I love, you know, I love how to tie the, my hair too. Yes. That, that's another day for me. Well, yeah. Yes, and I love my African earrings, yes. my rings. These, I have to travel and go get them. Ooh, I go to places. <laughs> I know you're eyeing this one, but <laughs> I love to collect these ones. Me and I are Furiata. Yes. Yeah, so I make that for her. So yeah. I have clients for all the, these, these women are women on corridors. Right. They own their own businesses. businesses. Others have their empires. Others yeah. are running their own business. Yeah. And I love working with all mm. these women because mm. they're different. Yeah. Each and and I know another thing you promote is um, maintaining your own uniqueness. Yes. And standing out in a unique way. Yes, because a lot of people are copying. Why do women come every time and come with somebody's picture? I'm tired. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's how that's, it started. Yeah. Every, yeah. Somebody's picture. Oh, can I want the same thing? I'm, it doesn't go with your skin tone and even your face. It doesn't work. And then they want it. So I love working with women who understand I want to look like me. 
Yeah. And then sometimes the some come and then we transform them, them, we help them. But one thing I love is these, Samira, I love my Samira. Samira. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Working with Sam Samira, yeah. training her for yeah. Miss Universe yes. and seeing her today. I see Dr. Abner and she, I see some yeah. of the women, I'm very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy, he was and, Mills. Um, uh, is it inner party? Inner party. The, the whole lot. Yeah. And then Whitney. Whitney watching me. <laughs> and then Sir, yeah. um, Lydia what, Forcing. Lydia, you are crazy. Uh, I said Lydia. <laughs> Whitney, you are crazy. I'm just saying, you know, you are crazy because <laughs> she knows why. And she then, owes me. <laughs> and then you, you have your Lydia Force and Zinelle yeah. yeah. Zoo. Yeah. All these women, Carl Soon, Pascaline Pascaline. Edwards. Working with all these women, yeah, and then yeah. you go to the other side, you have other women that are not even in the limelight. Right. But you're working where? Yes. Yeah. And then you have other women too that are walking on the corridors of power. That the, Those ones are the ones that can't, don't, can't even come for fitting. But you have to go to them. And you, 12. 12. I 12, mean, like it's 12 midnight. midnight. You're doing fitting because she, has, she doesn't have time. That's the time she can <laughs> make for herself. Mm -hmm. So these days, we're trying to help them out, right. find a nice way of helping them out. Mm. But the best thing, I love women who love to invest in themselves. Yeah. One girl, um, um, Zanelle Zoo, people yeah. to wide world always say, that goodness, mm, for her preparation is like... Everything. Preparation is like, she doesn't mind, if she's going for the next film, she'll just come. I'll pay for this session. I want to do just this grooming session for a week. And when she started, a couple of her friends started and then... But before that, other women were doing it. Other women behind the scenes, right. they do it. Okay, now I'm going to be this boss, blah, blah, blah. What do I do? What are some of the colors? I go, I help them out. And I love my women. Oh, Mrs. Comfort, don't cry. <laughs> I oh, think my women, I just see my auntie C who doesn't stop. Yeah. And then I have my hair. Um, have you seen her hair now? Hey, auntie mm. C, now she's gone over. Mm. 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 <laughs> With her hair. Hey. <laughs> I just looked at her recently and said, is this my auntie C? <laughs> I love my Edith Dankwa. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Patricia Bonai. Right. All these women, Teresa yeah. your day. Yeah. For them to just to, to mm. trust you. Yeah. They 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 help you move on. Right. Knowing that yes. you're doing something, something right, right and you're yeah. working with different women. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. In conclusion, what would you say? These knowing these three P's and the E's and you know, seeing all of these women that you've mentioned, you started with them, look at where they are now. And I'm just w wondering, does it play, knowing all the three P's and the E's, does it help in building your confidence and pushing you to believe in yourself and to achieve what you want to achieve in life? Yeah, as me and me. Yes. Yeah. And it, it, it pushes me. To learn more. Mm. How do I help them? Oh, next you mean you're also you're still learning? I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And I always say these women help me every day. Every woman teaches me. So that's why I like to document their stories. Because mm. each and every one of them, they help me. These women are growing and I'm growing with them too. Mm. Mm -hmm. From even the, the, the young yeah. ones. Because their demands change. So you have to know what, what next. Yes. And I, so that's why I always say I go to God and say, Give me wisdom for this woman. Yeah. I don't know her. You know her. You created her. Yeah. Give me wisdom for her. Because yeah. probably she's now starting her career. How does she... There's a girl that came this um, week. Um, she's starting... She, I think I sent you her music. Her, yes. 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 She's yes. new. Yeah. She's new. And um, Sunny FM called me and then they asked me her to come see me. And, and it's... She, uh, going on this journey with her, I'm like, this is another journey for me, for me. too. Because mm. getting to know her, yeah. she's coming from the Christian, uh, she's it's more the from the church, church. so um, usually then you're dealing with a whole lot of people behind her, yeah. so... Transforming her, you Thank have you. to make sure you keep in the J factor. Yes, yeah. which is very, very key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But these women have done a lot for themselves, themselves yeah. investing in themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing the right things at the right time. So what have you got to say, looking into the camera, to the woman watching you? What, have, what does she have to learn? Why does she have to invest in this after everything said and done? What will the, this mean for her as a person, not as a wife, not as a mother, not as a, a teacher or whatever, but her as a human being, as a woman of worth? know herself 
know who she is as a woman. That's the first thing. Know why she's here. Know her role, because she's here on a stage mm. to play a role. When she has an understanding of all that, then she needs the wisdom of where she's going. All I'll say is, just be the woman. She shouldn't change herself, but just be that woman and get every information she needs, but first prepare herself. Mm. Prepare, she's here for a purpose, so prepare yourself for that purpose, for that role, because it is a stage. You're on the stage. I don't want her dressed in her rehearsal dress on a recital so. day. She should be prepared. So I think every woman out there should first know themselves, prepare themselves, and present themselves. You don't want to, don't wear your rehearsal dress mm. on your day of recital. Bune, okay, another Arab, I mean. That one is, this is powerful. Yeah, because a lot of women are out there mm. wearing their re recital dresses. They are not prepared. Mm -mm. So they are all over the place. But we're on a stage. Mm. And the king puts us on display. So whether we like it or not, you are on that stage mm. playing mm. a role. Are yeah. you ready? Indeed. Are you playing it right? Mm. We have a little packet to appreciate <laughs> all you do. And this has mm. been amazing. And I'm sure the feedback oh will God. be wonderful. So I have this packet from mm. you. From GH Perfume Mall for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. I would like to fill. And then <laughs> I have you. this um, diffuser from Liz. Thank you. <laughs> Jumbo Aromatics. But your, your place, you see, it's always... Hmm. <laughs> and then this is from your baby, Zizouza. Oh, <laughs> this is thank you. for thank you. you so much. To say thank, thank you. you, we appreciate you. Thank you. And this is thank our small them. way of showing you love for all the love you have to give us and been given over mm -hmm. and over again. You see, Being the woman behind the scenes, sir. Eh? Yes. Today you got me out. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. You got me out. And I'm glad. I'm mm -hmm. glad. I'm glad. So, if people want to be part of your mentorship, your grooming, mm -hmm. you know, how do they get in touch with you? You can call me on. 0243-801940. Or you can go on our pages of Instagram, Ivana James Town Awola. Or yeah. on Facebook, we have Ivana and Nan, mm. the Divas Closet, mm. or um, the Boudoir yeah. by Ivana. Yeah. But then, then it was the Ivana James Town Awola. Town Awola. Okay. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and the, the number and the Instagram, uh, you know, handle will be on screen. 027, we have another number too. Okay. 027-380-1940. Okay. Yes. So call the number. And, and then she's, book she's, a session. She's a typical gun. James <laughs> Taula. And yes, coastal. <laughs> and when you the, the James Taula, who hasn't even been to school before, <laughs> those are from the coastal. Mm. We, we, we are on a different level. Mm. You know, the, the James Town woman who hasn't been to school, <laughs> Kapu, yeah, mm. she'll put you in your place. And how she handles herself, how much more when she's a proper Aula, you know, trained and everything. So mm. thank you. All the best. And yes. Hope to see Good you time. here again. And I'm waiting for all the women out there. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I am ready for them. <laughs> I am ready. The private sessions I love. Okay. I love the private sessions because then it allows them to do it their way. way. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you. welcome. Finally I'll be back with it. a bit of me. You know... I've said this before, and uh, let me say it again. Listen, there's something beautiful about investing in yourself. In yourself. I keep saying add value, keep, I mean, brand and rebrand yourself every time. Every time. Have you realized that today I'm not wearing my usual beads? I think I'm wearing bracelets and you know but normally you know me for wearing beads it got to a time i stopped wearing the fabric i was doing the booboos every time as a woman 
there must be something different, something exciting. The usual yeah, becomes boring sometimes. And it's not vain. It adds something to you. It helps you to rejuvenate, to reinvent yourself. And that pushes you on to be an achiever. Every little thing around me, my set, even as a standpoint, every now and then I like to, there are things that remain, I mean, permanent. Like the chairs. <laughs> We've used it for how many years? Nine years? Having changed that. My tables have changed. The set around it have changed. And even for this season, we still have the same wooden table, the same nine-year-old chairs, the same green carpet, but the colors around it have changed. Change is inevitable, but there must always remain something that is truly you. So you work with the you. What can you do? How far can you push the you without losing it? One of my books, which I'm about to release soon, I write about not losing the me in the us and not losing the I in we. Be a part of it, definitely but there to stay unique, to stand out, to be that authentic you, but classy, sassy, beautiful, sexy, whatever it is, but decently put together. Woman, you are beautiful. You are amazing. Don't copy blindly. 2022, our theme as broken but beautiful. But my personal thing is absolute beauty. May the Lord beautify everything that concerns us. It doesn't mean it's perfect, but it means we can put it together and hold ourselves together and still look beautiful in the eyes of God. I remain the woman with super crazy faith in God. I know God has got us covered, but he has given us wisdom. Let's apply it and remain beautiful. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.